Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been away for a while on holiday so I haven't really made any uh, new videos but today on New Year's Eve um, I'm feeling a bit gardeny today so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few different types of flowers um, a Neurogelia, Freesia um, and Alcantaria um, and then I'm going to show you how to pollinate uh, a freesia and a neurogelia. Cool. So Okay, so before I do that, I thought um, I'd show you a few different types of uh, bromeliad flowers. Uh, generally, bromeliads have got flower spikes or plates or panicles or uh, there's basically um, different arrangements um, on which the flowers appear. Sort of like a, if you think of a chandelier. So the chandelier is the spike or the inflorescence and each bulb will represent a flower. So for different species of bromeliads of course you'll have different chandeliers and the chandeliers in some cases end up looking um, as far from a chandelier as, as possible. Um, Neurogelias, for example, uh, are bromeliads whose flowers sit very low inside uh, the central cup, um, surrounded by water, generally um, so that pollinators like ants um, don't just flood the flower with, you know, with their tiny little bodies. Um, so the plant has water in the center and the flowers rise out of the water so only uh, winged insects or really large insects could actually walk across um, the shallow pond uh, can actually get to the nectar and the pollen and and the flower itself as well um, so let me let me show you what uh, a neurogelia flower looks like and then also uh, Cinderiana um, and I'll, I'll have a look and see if we can find anything else that is currently flowering cool follow me so this is a Neurogelia right another kind and you can actually just let me take that leaf out you can actually just see the flower right in there two of them so you, this the flower plate that I was talking about would basically be this entire green thing that you're looking at so if I just pointed at it uh, this whole plate is is like a flower plate uh, and then the flowers rise out from the central cup and you can actually see little bugs floating around and swimming in there um, so yeah that's that's a Neurogelia flower um, and then over here, there's another one, but this one's done flowering already, so I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah. I'm wondering if there isn't a snake in the area, because this forktail drongo is going crazy. Uh, we generally have boomslang, uh, which come to visit. Uh, that's a tree snake. Um, so yeah, that's, that's near Judo. Let's see if we can find something else. Okay, so this is a Nigellarium, just for out of interest. I did say I was going to show you Freesia, uh, Neurogelia, and, and an Alcantaria. But these are Nigellariums, and you can see the flower right there. Okay. So, the little pots on the inside of that flower. This is uh, Nigellarium lep leprosa. Because of the spots, kind of like a leopard. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, and then this is a much different uh, Bromeliad flower. This is an Alcantara extensa, and it's been the flower spike's been coming along for quite a while, um, and it's really tall. So this is a, a lot bigger. So you can see the buds, none of the buds have opened up yet, so th this plant is still forming. Um, it's very beautiful. And it's a, roughly from the surface of the pot to the tip of the plant. This one is, I'd say, about a meter and a half. So yeah.
Yeah, and you can see this one's got four beautiful flowers in its central cup, um, all of which I will pollinate. So basically, uh, what you need is a normal artist's brush, okay? And pretty much, it's really simple. Um, you're just going to stick it into the center, right that, okay? And stir it around. And when I bring it up, you can actually see all the pollen on it. Let's just bring it into the shade. Yeah, it's pretty much white. You can see all that white dust on that. And that's pretty much um, this new Agelia's pollen. So then what I'll do is I'll just take it back to the plant and stick it into the second flower and just brush it around. Make sure you get it try and get it all over on the inside there and bring it out stick it into the next one and into the next one and something to remember is if you're going to do this between different neurogelias for example or different uh, genuses even then you're going to want to use labels um, and generally you could just use a, a little splint of plastic um, and write write the plant or the combination's name on that and stick it in alongside the flower and then you'll have to wait and wait and wait until fertilization takes place and the fruits develop and um, and you actually have seed which you can then grow and that's pretty much pollinating a neurogelia Okay, so pretty much this is this is the um, Frisia sandariana, very beautiful plant. Okay, it's got two flower spikes, and if you look at the base, two of the flowers have already begun. Now the one to the right um, has got stigmatic fluid on it. And it can be viewed right over there to the right hand side, this little droplet there. Okay, so that is not morning dew, the rest of the garden is dry. And you can, you if once you just really, you can kind of just get to, you'll, you'll know, you'll see that that's not, that that, that is stig stigmatic fluid. I don't know how else to describe that. Um, and then you'll see that this one has no stigmatic fluid just yet, but it does have pollen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna use a regular brush, right? So, so pretty much just a paintbrush. And I'm going to get some pollen straight off of there. You can actually just see the pollen coming off really easily. Okay, and I'm going to and you can see the pollen everywhere. I'm going to stick it straight onto that part of the plant there. You can actually see it sticking a little bit. Okay. Now, some plants require that you get pollen from a completely different mother plant. Um, and others do not. Um, I've gotten seed this way before, so... Uh, there we go. I think that's enough. Let's see if I can um, get a picture of the... of the pollen on there. Uh, that's going to show up on camera, but... Uh, there's yellow slicky pollen all over um, all over that stigma so just for for kicks I'm gonna get some more pollen from this plant here or this flower and just dab it and then I'm gonna put some more onto that one there. And get 
some more from there and stick it onto that one there again okay so this this particular flower here i'm now going to just put a tag on it or like just a little indication uh with a label so basically this is going to be a sundariana flower uh Sundari sundariana seed pod and if you germinate them they should be sundariana baby plants once they or you know once they germinate and then mature you'll you'll have the same same mother plant so um yeah that is basic pollination of freesia uh, if you like this video uh, or you have any suggestions or comments um please leave them below and uh have a good new year everyone thanks for watching